Hey calisthenics friends, what's good? So today again I want to do something different than usual and that is checking out a video that is called Bodybuilder vs Calisthenics. If you are subscribed to my channel then you know already that I'm all about calisthenics here on YouTube. I'm doing calisthenics now for one and a half years. Before that I was doing a little bit of bodybuilding here and there. But currently I'm completely into calisthenics and almost work out every day. I can do the front lever, I can do the back lever, muscle ups, all of that. And right now I'm really focusing on learning the planche. I believe I have a good understanding of how difficult certain skills are in calisthenics. And I think I can give an educated opinion. So as I said today I want to check out bodybuilder vs calisthenics. It's from Jesse James West and Chris Aria. You probably know Chris Aria, but Jesse James West is a bodybuilder, YouTuber, and he's growing recently really quickly. I think he grew from like 200 or 300,000 subscribers to now almost a million. This guy is really crazy dedicated. So in this video, it seems like he tries to do calisthenics for the first time, which I think is great, by the way. You should never limit yourself to only one way of training. Try out different kinds of things and just take what works for you. But it's gonna be really interesting to see how a bodybuilder that is fairly advanced will handle all of these you know calisthenic skills so with that being said let's just jump into the video and see how he does what's up it's chris Harrio. welcome to the vlog today i'm with my boy jesse what's up last time you guys saw jesse on the channel we were on south beach and i was teaching him how to do a muscle up jump on the bar which he learned how to do in just a couple minutes so then i bet him a thousand dollars to back that video was bar, crazy i've seen that, that. Yeah, where he basically $1, learned $1, how to jump on the bar or stand <laughs> on the so bar within only Jesse really a couple of hours probably so today i want to show a bodybuilder how to start training for calisthenics let's do it let's get let's it go, baby. <laughs> All right, so first off, we already I'm ready. And everything. I want to show you four advanced calisthenics exercises that we use to train with. In weight training, you can use the same exercise, just add weight to progress. In calisthenics, you have to use different progressions to apply more body weight, increase the overload, and that's how you progress to eventually using all your body weight with each repetition. And yeah, progressive overload with bodybuilding is kind of straightforward, but with calisthenics, it's way more well, difficult. It's not really difficult, it's just you have to... Land you have to do more research and switch up and change uh, the, the exercise that you do instead of just putting on more weight. Or you can actually do that. That's weight calisthenics. Alright, so you just hold on to the bar. First off, front lever. Lean back and hold. Arm straight. So it's that easy, right? That's a really good looking front lever. That's pretty of course, as expected. It looks pretty easy, but it does take a couple months, well, even a year, to master this movement right here. It takes a lot of yeah, lats, takes, takes a lot. lot of lower back, core, rear delts, pretty much your entire upper body. Now, before we find out where lats. it is on the progression tree, first, it's all see, lat strength from, Jesse. Oh, and a bit of core strength. All right, here we go. Just lean back. All right, let's see. Hold. Damn, that's actually wow. Good wow. Wow. Normally, people. Damn. Do... Wait, 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 wait. Did you see that? This right here, this is really good. I can tell you, most beginners in calisthenics will never be able to do to get into this position with keeping your uh, full core engaged and your body straight like you can see. Most calisthenic beginners, when they try the front lever for the first time, and th that was the case for me as well, you will automatically uh, pull your legs up. So because you're lacking strength usually at first, uh, your whole form breaks and you have to uh, do a little bit of cheating like pulling your legs uh, closer to your chest uh, basically tucking them in and he's not doing that because usually that would be kind of like a reflex you know when you do that you even knowing that you have to like keep your body straight and your arms straight and all of that as soon as you try it and you feel like you're hitting a barrier where you just can't go up higher you will automatically you know like try to cheat a little bit but look at this no no cheating completely straight and he managed to pull himself up i would say like 45 degrees maybe even more there is really not that much left to the full front lever. Yeah, that is, that is crazy to me. Obviously, you can tell he trained his lats a lot. The rest is just uh, normal tension in your core. You have to keep your body straight, of course, but that's way less uh, difficult than having the pulling strength. So I assume he did a lot of lat pull downs if he's that strong already. Anyway, that's, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Let's keep watching. 
Damn, that's actually pretty good for your first time. Yeah, Chris Harrier says it too. That's a really good first attempt. I'm really impressed. Normally looks like something like that, kind of like a boat. But you did that really well, and that's good to point out for other people trying this exercise as well. Now let's find out where you land on the progression tree so that you can start mastering this move. And hopefully in a couple weeks you have some time to train, and we'll bring Jesse back and see if he's mastered any of these moves for real. The first progression I want to test is going to be the upside down deadlift. So it looks like this. Yeah. Hold a tight grip, shoulder width apart, activate your scapulas, bring a toes to bar. And then engage your lower, yeah, back, kind of like a, a deadlift. You see, yeah, oh, wow. so and you just do that, and hold that as close as you can. All right, to the bar, just upside down. Hold so it, like this. yep, yep, leg, so it's the bar, and then push your lower back. Hell yeah, dude, keep your feet together. Nice, if you can do that for nice, even better, because that's how you can tell he's training his legs for the front lever. That makes it now, probably a bit hold more hold difficult. You have more weight, line. really engage right there, but. Good. Like you're holding the top. That is you're getting there. pretty wow. decent first attempt. Let's go. I can tell you, most people won't be able good. to do it do within their first try, now, to get to the or maybe barely. The progression that, but that was you that was do. really you solid. Practice the one that you can do, like what we just did, until you fatigue, and as soon as you fatigue, you go down to the easier regression, and continue on past the point of fatigue to create hypertrophy, create more strength, and eventually you'll be able to do the next harder progression. So with that said, let's see if you can do at least one rep progression after this one. That one's gonna be a single leg front lever drop. Single leg front lever drop. So the first progression to get. I can tell you, you won't be able to do that. Oh. Bring one leg or at least not hold it, of course. And allow your body to just Dropping is something different. As slow as you can. It's all about doing it yeah, controlled right? and slowly. You gotta train both to build the strength. That's actually really good. However, I'm not sure why yep. he would do that with one leg. That's Negative. almost Roll like the full front lever. This is really all the way up. difficult. Push up. I would probably, if I... I uh, was Chris. I would probably recommend him to. Exactly. Now, even uh, if you drop fast, that's perfectly fine. To do the half leg front lever, or maybe the fast. advanced, yeah, uh, advanced tuck there you go. front lever, and go down slowly. Good. The point is, you don't want to be like bent. But whatever, yeah, it's kind of the same. It's just doing negatives, yeah, yeah. which is really good. But for now, you got to the hardest progression that you can do. You just trained it, so now you would go straight into the regression, which would be upside down deadlift for reps. Let's do at least five. You got this, bro. Yeah, and that was basically also harder than the upside down deadlifts. So now that he can't do any more of the negatives, you go down to a more uh, to an easier progression. Excellent. That's basically regressing, and then going down and down and down until you're completely uh, until you completely reach failure. That's a really good way to uh, practice your calisthenics skills. So you're gonna retract the scapulas, bring your knees to your chest, lean back, just hold that for time. Yep, retract, boom. A little lower. Yeah, that is good. Boom, right there. That's where most beginners uh, start you would do this with tuck front lever. Looks good. He has his arms completely straight. That's one of the most important things. If any people lack the strength, and they will try to and, and compensate for it by bending their arms, but he's not doing that, which is a sign of um, well-developed strength through bodybuilding, of course. But yeah, it really shows. Yeah, I would have thought I'd be sure. You can see that. You think it would like translate more, like for how much weight that you're actually doing in the gym? Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Hundreds. Yeah. Like doing that, it's like. <laughs> it is humbling. That's more than you weigh. Exactly. It is humbling, yeah. Even if you can push high weights in the gym, it's still different. How you engage the muscles and coordinate them to create the movement. Handstand push ups next. Alright, your turn. Oh boy, here we go. I think what? you can probably. Damn good. Actually, I think you can probably do that. Way more aesthetic, bro. It doesn't even require that much strength oh, to do a push up I love that and a uh, handsome oh, push up. Balancing is probably really difficult, though. So it seems like you can't do that. I got a bunch of videos on how to do it. So well, that's because you didn't practice those, of right course. The handstand push -ups. We're going to see where you land in the progression tree when we start you off with the handstand push up against the wall. It's just like an overhead press, it'll be easy. Exactly. You want me to show you how Yeah, it's like an overhead press, exactly. Say less. <laughs> it was actually good. Feet together. 
how he got got his um, Excellent. arms. Wow, wow. It's a good press. Yeah, you can tell he's doing overhead presses and working on his shoulders. Move on to the next progression. So the next progression will be doing the same thing with your chest facing the wall. This is going to simulate more of a realistic position to do your handstand push up. It's also going to stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot harder this, way. this one I'll show you because this one takes a bit of technique. You want to get as close to the wall as possible, you see? And then you want to come down and come right back up. See, this is also going to keep your form in a straight line too. Right? You can walk down or you can just jump off like that. Yeah, he can probably do that. That's yeah. actually not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not yeah, that difficult. Um, you got this, what he would probably need to practice go. is get to getting into the handstand, close, 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 holding close, close, it, balancing, and doing it go, slowly and up. controlled. Damn, that's really but good. yeah, you can tell he is the strength. Keep going. One, one, one. Excellent. So we know you can do at it's least two reps. It's all shoulders, that, so you would basically overhead press. Those out. There's two ways I would do, normally do it. The way I just showed you, the drop sets, we would go immediately into the regression after this. Or before going into the regressions, doing a couple sets of this first every minute on the minute. So in another minute from now, technically, yeah. you would be trying to do it again, another two. And you can do this for all the way up to 10 minutes if you wanted. Turning your two reps into 20 reps, and then you start doing all the regressions. But for today, that would be super exhausting. Drop sets. <laughs> What's the next regression? That's gonna be handstand against the wall, facing the other way. Yep. Feet tight. Boom. There you go. Point your toes. Feet tight together. Nice. Good form. And the closer you are to the wall for next time, at least, the, the better. Arch back, uh, but hey, so pretty good. Push. And you bring one leg down at a time when you're ready to come down. Nice, so nice. Perfect. You're like a gymnast. No, you're killing it, bro. And there's a whole bunch of more technique that goes through this, but we're just running through this. If you guys want to see more in-depth breakdowns, you can always check out all the videos I have on this channel. All right, Jesse, I'm going to get you an elevated surface. We're going to jump No, right he's regressing. And for everyone watching, maybe this would be the hardest yeah. regression that you can High do. Push -ups. You need to start here. All right, so you're going to put your feet up. Crown of your head down. Feet tight. If you've never tried this one before, Give it a try. I can tell you, this is gonna be you a might to be, be humbled because it's not. <laughs> yes, and then and you will also notice if Ooh, you have down. tight hamstrings and bad flexibility. Perfect form, bro. Make sure you keep those legs straight. <laughs> he mentioned it. Yeah. Excellent. It's kind of difficult at first to keep your Excellent. legs straight if you're. If you don't do uh, flexibility, right on the floor, so you walk all the way up. If you're not working on your flexibility a lot, down all the way up. Like Chris is probably okay. perfectly straight. There you go, perfect pike. Now go all the way down. Hell yeah, that's really good form. Stay on your tiptoes. Yeah, it is. That's really good form. Now He's right. Jesse doing some really nice. handstand push-ups. Just a couple weeks. How's that feel? It burns more than over my breath. Yeah? Do you feel like you would start incorporating <laughs> Probably burning. Oh, I'd have to start with them because... And his hamstrings too. But I feel more of a burn than that than I do with some of the weights. I'm pumping Crazy. real right now. All right, so that would basically be <laughs> the, like pump. the first progression that anyone would really start on for trying to get the handstand push up, just the one on the floor like you just did. And if you can't do that, you should be trying to learn how to do a handstand anyway. And the first progression of trying to learn how to handstand is just to hold that position for time. Eventually move on up to the wall and without the wall. Now you're really good, bro. If you knew how to handstand, I'd say you'd be doing a legit handstand push up without the wall in just a couple weeks. But handstand push up does require Definitely. a balancing factor and that may take some separate training to get the handstand balancing part. But if you just do that both at the same time. Yeah, for him, it's probably mostly just balancing. You could probably just do it. Pretty tough. This is the one that if he had the balance. To get. It's gonna be the full planche. Let me show you how it looks. Damn, the full planche. Easy. Let's stop for a second and go back. Do you see this? His hands are around his hips. That's how far he's leaning forward. And that's really, really hard. If you've never tried out the planche, you will not know how difficult it is, but the planche is one of the most difficult exercises in calisthenics because it requires so much shoulder and uh, push strength. This is really hard. And especially keeping that position, not only like getting into that position and then maybe like, you know, going back, he's holding it for the whole time. Let me show you how it looks. Yeah, that is 
that requires a lot of strength. Seems easy. No. Let's go for it. <laughs> and it yeah. also doesn't look that good. easy, yeah. I like how you move those shoulders down. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. I mean, that's, that is expected. I didn't expect anything else, but look. One of the most important things when doing the planches, keeping the arms straight. You don't want to bend your arms, you want to lock them out, like your elbows, like this, and then keep them straight the whole time, throughout the movement. Now, if, you're, if you don't have enough strength to do that, what ha automatically happens is your arms bend. You see this? But that's okay, everyone starts out like that. And then you learn to really push out your shoulders. That's what he's also not doing right now. See this? They're like this. You have to like really push your shoulders out in front of you. Like you're trying to like physically push something away from you. And then keep your arms uh, straight and lock them out. But apart from that, uh, he has really good core strength. You can tell his whole uh, body is completely uh, straight. He has really good tension, but not enough strength to push himself up and keep and stay in that position. But that is okay. Just gonna point out that going from there to the actual full planche uh, requires at least like half a year if you're really fast. But for most people, it's probably more something around one or two years. So just wanna say that. It takes a lot of time to learn the planche. Really we don't need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. This is you see that? The hardest ones His shoulders try to learn. are completely pushed out like this. That is really important. You want to keep that tension in your shoulders, in your scapula, the whole time, throughout the whole movement. For most people, this one is like a two-year journey. The yeah, right. You want to do two years. The yeah. planche. Then you master the straddle planche. That's with your legs out to the side, and then eventually you close your legs and you master the full planche. See the form. It's actually not even like completely straight. It's like a little bit like bent like this, but that's because you're trying to push as hard as you can, and your shoulders are like here. They're not here. They're here. And you master the full plan. Well, I'm going to start you off at the very, very first progression because you want to make sure you're doing it right so that you gain your strength with the right technique. So when you're training full planche, you're yeah. going to be locked out, right? So that's why I'm going to teach you the first progression. The most important thing, lock out your training, shoulders. Your elbows out. Uh, I mean your, um, your scapulas. Bring your knees to your chest. Your elbows, your and arms. Forward as you push down. That's super good form. You see, you yeah, nice. it out, you push this down and your body went up like a scared cat. Yeah, you see how this starts to bend now? Don't bend it no matter what. This is pretty good actually. Like Look, go more forward, let's go back. Keep it straight. He manages to keep his arms fairly straight, not completely straight, but more than I would expect from a beginner while raising up his hips so that you're horizontal. That is almost a perfect tuck planche, which is the first progression. But as soon as he tries to yeah go higher, what automatically happens is, yeah, arms bent, losing the tension in the back and uh, the core. Just go as far as you can while keeping your arms straight. Okay. All right, but I'm gonna have you hold that position for at least three seconds. Many beginners, in fact, can't arms even do that. They can't. Boom. Um, they Don't can maybe that. do the support, so basically holding themselves up in the, tack, in the tuck position, there. but they can't That's raise their hips like he's doing right now in his first uh, attempt. That is really good. There. Nice. That's perfect form. I hope you guys watching notice the big difference that he just had there. But that is so different That's to huge, the, the usual um, workouts or exercises that you would do in bodybuilding. I can't think of any exercise that would transfer well for the planche. Maybe extended um, races, dumbbell races like this, because then you're pushing in this direction. But it's still something completely different to do to do that with your own body weight and 
having to you know balance and raise your hips while doing that it's way more combination and coordination of strength bro so now it's so directly to makes it way more difficult yeah. that's going to be pumping that position so you're going to go from like that tuck else position then lean forward get into the position or even higher if you can and then control the eccentric keeping your arms straight so even, if even that is a huge difference from what he showed first difference between raising your hips till you're horizontal like this but then even pushing up your hips higher so it's like di diagonal you know going up that is again a huge jump in difficulty eccentric keeping your arm straight so even if you could only i know that because right i was here, doing that it took me like straight, just do that two months or so to properly raise my hips keeping your arm further than, than just horizontal straight, like straight. diagonal like he showed it depress and then, yeah. it's really difficult keep it depressed the whole time okay. excellent Excellent. Nice. You can see right, now. Stay right there. I got some weights for you. You can see now he's properly depressing his shoulders. Yeah, this is way better than his first attempt. Way better form. Arms also All right, straight. Stay right nice. There. I got some weights for you. All right, so you're gonna do straight arm raises, and you're gonna keep your arms locked out. Yeah. Exactly. You should feel it in the ditch of your elbow. Whoa. That's a good exer exercise. You stop halfway. Uh, to sure that. you see that? Uh, you feel that? Yeah, I, I cheated. Yeah. Right. yeah, exactly. I want to make if sure you don't think about this actively, you will automatically sure automatically try to cheat and, and to raise the weights like this. The real movement but at all finish, times, they have to, to be locked out like this, the elbows. This by your waistline, because that's where you would hold the full oh punch. Just like that. Hold that for time, bro. You're already getting crazy shredded from that. Insane. Nice. Yep, point the chin. And then you can also do that for reps too. So you'd come right above, exactly. Right above, boom. Now, of course, there's more things that you can do to train for this exercise if you have extra pieces of equipment as well. Like doing a lot of weighted stuff or every progression that we just did with the weight vest on, that's gonna take your training to the next level. Another thing too is if you have a resistance band, you can train a lot of these movements before you can actually- Osvaldo, the, the king. Resistance band will give you assistance to be able to do He's it. crazy why strong. Why so hard is because every progression has a drastic amount of resistance. You can start off doing push-ups, which is only like a portion or percentage of your body weight. And then all of a sudden you're moving on to 90 degree holds, which is like you're just holding your entire body weight. Even that so is super difficult you can at do first. Reps of one of these progressions and some days you can't even do- The 90 degree hold. Just like if you were to walk into the gym, maybe some days you can squat three plates for reps and some days you feel like you can't even squat three plates. So for this exercise, where you're at, I would say- Yeah, there are good and bad days. A beginner. Eventually we're gonna see- That's true. James doing some full planches. Like that, I need to see that. I that, think I we need to see that. Yeah, that will take some time. It's the most challenging one that we've done but today. But he's gonna be yeah, way faster than a normal calisthenics beginner. That's for sure. Things that I'm not used to working. Right. I'm used to like he just has to know how to engage his muscles right. properly, body, coordinate them. Right. But I and then work arm, on his shoulders, oh, yeah, especially bro, works, the front once part. Once you learn this one, you master this one. You see, it's always about leveling up. Next, you're gonna do some push-ups. <laughs> <No! laughs> yeah, the one, the last and final yeah I want to be able to do that, but that will take right. I'm used to like doing a curl. Some time. Right. Full planche push-ups. Grip everything. Right. It's super arm, difficult to do. Oh yeah, bro. Well, and that once, takes years. Once you learn this training. one, you master this one. You see, it's always about leveling. And up. even after years, there are people who can't do this. <laughs> now the next so, one, the last and final one, is gonna be something pretty cool. I feel like. This is another one that everybody always wants to learn. That's going to be the human flag. Find the pole. Human flag, yeah. Nice. All right. <laughs> you want to go for it? Yeah. Straight arm. Yeah. Here we go. Push pull. <laughs> nice, bro. Nice. There wasn't actually After too bad. Just did, I think you can at least do this progression. It's just hopping up from this position. And come right back down. Okay. But you need a lot so of core strength. It, up, put my feet engaging all your muscles right to you can do it like that, keep your body straight. If you can't, then just the rest is just pushing bar. and pulling. So this but one, you can start off like your front of the bar like that. So I can do it properly so yet. Starting sideways already. Yeah. Kind of start just some like progressions of it. it. Yep. With your foot like that too. Uh, because I've never really now tried for that. Like that. But you see, you want to give room for your head. So yeah, I think you could probably learn that quite fast. And then this one would swing up. Get to the same position. Go up. All right. All right. Let's give it a to be honest, I'm not sure if that's it. gonna do much. Nice, bro. Perfect. Gotta burn everywhere. Is there anything that you? But he's probably gonna feel it uh, in his shoulders to be able to do that. and arms. Because it's still, even if your legs are on the ground, you still have to push and pull 
to stay in that position. Yeah, I want to see that too. That would be crazy to see him learn all these skills. The full plant. Yeah, I don't know. That will take probably quite some time. But I can totally see him do the front lever. That is probably where he benefits the most from his bodybuilding experience and where it translates the most. It would be really cool to see how far he can progress and how fast he can progress in these four skills and to see a part two to this. But yeah, that's it uh, for me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, comment down below what did you think about it. Um, do you do bodybuilding? Do you do calisthenics? Did you try out both? If you have any videos that you want me to react to, I can do that. That's not the main style of videos that I do on this channel, but if there is something you're really interested in and you think I'm interested in, share it with me, I'll check it out and I might do a video on it. But with that being said, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.